doing great. How are you? Really good, really good. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I love your work, particularly your uh, your work with Flash on the street. So, uh, so tell me, what made you want to pick up a camera? When did you get into street photography? Wow. Uh, what made me pick up a camera? Well, this is actually a, quite a complicated story. Uh, uh, I've been to a hit and run accident about 10 years ago. Oh. And uh, I had to stay home for uh, about three months recuper recuperating from this. And at that point of time, my wife's dad gave me his uh, film camera. He told me, okay, uh, just mess around with it, pass the time and yeah. whatever. And I really got uh, uh, sucked into this world of photography, uh, started studying in a, in a school, took some courses. Uh, and then I fell in love with uh, shooting people. Not uh, yeah. not with a gun, but with a camera, obviously. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, taking photos of people. I uh, flew to, took a flight to Cuba, did a trip in Cuba, actually at the time when Fidel, Fidel Castro just died and it was really an interesting oh, wow. time. Yeah, I took photos inside of people's houses. I just got into their houses and uh, took their portraits. And from that, I really slowly and gradually uh, uh, entered the streets and the street photography. Uh, I can say that actually uh, purely street photography I'm doing for about three years, uh, three or four years. Wow. What a, what a time to be in Cuba. That must have, must have been incredible. And uh, how, how did you get inside people's houses? You... You went up and asked them, or, or people on the street invited you in, or, or how did that work out? Uh, some some invited me in, some uh, I just entered. Uh, in Cuba, from what I understood, the houses of people are property of the of the country. Right. So so they are so used to this that uh, people enter the houses; they don't mind you enter the entering their house. Uh, they actually are very thrilled to meet you and to tell their story uh, of their family. And, you know, my family is in the United States. My son is there. And, uh, mm. and uh, my wife is uh, in Venezuela or whatever. They have uh, fascinating stories they want to share with the world. And uh, in a way, that's, that's the, way, the way of doing it. Yeah. They're really hospital, uh, uh, kind hosts. Yes. You know, yeah. they're really kind, really, really kind people. And uh, it was really a strange time in Cuba because you'd expect people to be happy. I mean, this mm. if, if you live, live by reading the news, yes? Yeah. You expe expect people to, to, to be happy, but they were actually really sad. So after your accident, you, you went to Cuba. When you got back to Israel, you went out and, uh, and started photographing on the street. And why did you decide to, to use Flash? Well, uh, Flash, I actually started using uh, about three years ago. Okay. Um, I was uh, doing uh, a bit of a studio photography mm -hmm. uh, when I studied. And I was really fascinated with the light and the way uh, uh, it works and the way the way it lights up your subjects, you know. Uh, uh, I enjoyed the experience, the creative experience of uh, using flashes uh, in studio and at home and whenever. Uh, and I actually was inspired to do uh, what I do, that the flash, flash in street photography, I was inspired by two big Israeli street photographers. Mm that I have the privilege of seeing working. Israel is quite a small place. <laughs> when who, something happens, everyone are there. Yeah. Uh, and who were they? All photographers. Uh, Barry Talis. Yes, yes. Uh, amazing. And uh, Ilan Burla, mm -hmm. which are both really, really great photographers. Uh, and I said, okay, 
if they do that and I know the technique and well, why can't I try? Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and how do people react on the street? Do you get a uh, bunch of confrontation or are people okay? Um, I think it's, I think that people, people who are mad at you when you take their photo in the street will be mad at you regardless of the flash, you know? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Uh, if you shoot with a flash or shoot without a flash, some people just don't like being photographed and that's okay. Mm. And, uh, I just say, okay, thank you. If you don't want the photo, no problem. I'm doing this and this project. I'm a photographer. This is what I do. I explain rationally why did I flash them on the face? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I try at least. Uh, most of the time I don't get uh, problems. Uh, but it can, it can create uh, some non-convenient situations. Uh, about a month ago, a police officer came to me and told me, listen, people are saying that you, I was shooting in a low angle. Mm. and pe people uh, some guy talked to the, this police officer and told him listen he's uh, taking photos under the dress of women oh wow which is yeah yeah it's 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 I mean he's got uh, quite an imagination but yeah. uh, <laughs> I told the police the police officer okay whatever here you want to see my photos yeah my pleasure uh, he looked at the photos, told me, okay, sorry for bothering you. Enjoy your day. Uh, I try wh whatever I can. I do a lot of visits to Italy, and there it's quite cool to take uh, photos with the flash because the light there is really excellent. In Israel, yeah. these days I'm actually... Uh, taking a step back from color and uh, taking photos mostly in black and white because oh. the light here is horrible even in the winter. You know, the, <laughs> really? the sun is so how the sun is so high in the sky. Everything is yeah. very contrast. And uh, 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 if you use color, Everything goes out orange or yellow in the frame, and yeah. uh, you can't really control that. So uh, I, I decided that uh, my new path will be in black and white, at least for Israel. Oh, that's cool. I'm looking forward to seeing it. That, that's, that's great. Well, let's, um, let's have a look at some of your work. So tell us about this image here you took. Where's, where's this, in Israel? No, not at all. <laughs> this is in Milan, in Italy. Okay. Uh, outside the uh, outside the uh, uh, a Prada show in Milan Fashion Week. Oh wow! Um, what I liked seeing before I took the frame, before I I took the photo, is that the light reflects the light uh, uh, of the sun reflects really well from the girl with the red glasses mm. uh, and i like to incorporate the ambient light and the uh, and the light of the flesh together and it came out really well uh, they both they, they look quite the same yes. i saw them a few times in this fashion week i think they are twins or something <laughs> i'm not sure yeah <laughs> uh, and the fact that they wear the same clothes only the glasses are different and and one one reflects the light of the sun from her glasses and the other gets the light of the flesh mm. on her yeah uh, actually made the frame for me uh, i i really liked what i saw in that. tell us about this one here oh this this one i took uh, in jerusalem uh, in uh, in the in old city of Jerusalem, uh, it was uh, the Catholic Good Friday. It was actually the first or second big event I got to take photos of after a break of about a year and a half due to the the COVID situation. Uh, 
Now, during the, the Good Friday, there are uh, marches, uh, both of the Catholic and the Orthodox, depends on the, uh, the day. Um, so they march through, through the street, which is called the Via Dolorosa, mm-hmm. uh, in old Jerusalem. It's the, uh, supposedly uh, the way that Jesus Christ walked uh, is the uh, last uh, walk with the cross on his back. And they have these uh, different stops, mm. uh, which are the stations that uh, Jesus passed through uh, during his uh, last march. Uh, here he put his hand and uh, you go a few steps and there, then you, you get to another station and here some woman gave him uh, uh, something to wipe his face with. And, and you know, just uh, they go from station to station to station in the old city of Jerusalem until they get to... Uh, uh, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Mm-hmm. Uh, this photo I actually took uh, around the middle of the Via Dolorosa. Yeah. It's like a closed uh, passage in the street. Uh, I like that uh, diagonal of uh, the nuns and the yeah. fact that they were, they were all with masks and, yeah. uh, and their outfits and... Uh, and their pose, actually, which was quite the same. Yes. It was a very nice diagonal. And you mentioned that you took a, a year or two off uh, during COVID. So um, where do you find inspiration? And, and when, you're not, when you're going out on the street and not getting any photos, how do you get out of a creative rut? So first of all, it's okay. I mean, most of us don't get good shots all the time. I of course, mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good, I think. I think that's great, actually, because if we would all get great shots all the time it'd be boring it wouldn't be so <laughs> it, it it wouldn't be so fun yeah. it wouldn't be so uh 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 fascinating yeah of course i mean what's what what depends on uh having a great photo is is i mean it's at least 50 percent accidental you know or coincidental or however you call it it's not dependent on us and our abilities with the camera. Uh, what I basically try to do uh, all of the time is um, working under a certain essay or a theme or whatever, mm-hmm. because once you are committed to a certain essay or a certain subject, the, the, the things that you are working on, the subject that you are working on produces frames yeah. to you. Now, you have the abilities, you have the technical abilities to do what you want, etc. Uh, the, the photos will come to you, but you need something to engage with, to, to, to work with. And uh, So you go out. I try, I try really hard to have all the time uh, a, a certain theme or a subject that I want to work on. That's interesting. So you go out with a project in mind when you're going out shooting. Is that right? or uh, Not only in mind. It's uh, actually very deep work. You know, I yeah. try, I try, I mean, this year I was so, uh, so happy to take photos yeah. that I didn't really do an editing work of all my body of work and what I did. And, uh, uh, but when I uh, make a project, I get really uh, deep into it. It's not just uh, going out to, to the streets with an idea. It's mm. making a little research at home and uh, uh, deciding, okay, today I'm going to Tel Aviv to uh, uh, take photos in the central bus station. And tomorrow I will uh, go to a different town and do exactly that, only in a different town. Yeah. Um, and the photos are, are being produced out of the subject you are dealing with. Yeah. I mean, if you go just randomly on the street taking photos of people, well, uh, that's not wonder. Not, it's not a thing to wonder why people get upset, you know? If you are so busy with a, with a theme, with a subject, and you take a photo, even, I mean, if 
you, you happen to take a candid photo of someone, candid, yeah, with a flesh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, even if he gets a little bit uh, worried about it, it's, uh, yeah, I can explain to him, listen, I'm doing such and such uh, uh, work on a project and what you did really fitted what I, what I, uh, what I'm in, what I'm dealing with now. Mm. So I took your photo and I'd be happy if it will be a part of, of my project. Yeah. Uh, most of the time people don't even mind you be, because you are, yeah. you are not busy in making them the focus. I mean, they are not the, 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 the uh, focus of the, of the click. The click is bigger than them. You know? yeah. They are a part of the frame. They are the hero in the frame, but it's only a frame in, yeah. a, in a bigger uh, body of work. So. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, your finished project. Uh, I, I can't wait. I'll be watching from, from down here in Melbourne. Um, but yeah, it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it's so nice to meet you, Ohad. Really appreciate your time and um, thank you so much for, for having a chat to us. It's been my pleasure and I really appreciate you inviting me and I uh, really enjoyed this conversa- conversation. Absolutely. No thank you, Rahab. Uh, thank you too. Thank you very much. Thank you.